Hello! We are back. Uh, it's been a while, still didn't heal, because why do I need to do that? Actually, I think I need to switch my lead. Uh, yeah. So, Gengar is going to be the only one that fights here, because Gengar Wall is his first Pokemon, and is the only one that doesn't get trashed by the second. And he shows his impressive ability to throw a boulder, which is actually incredibly impressive when you think about the fact we have to get Pokemon to use strength. So he's as strong as some Pokemon, which it depends on the Pokemon, really. But Primate, this is the reason we couldn't start with Meltank because it's a fighting type. That would have been a bad idea. And he has a normal move, so it would have probably killed Smoochum. But we should just be able to kill it pretty easily. Shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, that's about all I can do. So, this isn't the real opponent, though, in this fight. We actually get to see a, a Pokemon I don't think we've ever seen in a Pokemon battle up to this point. I don't remember there being a Poliwrath ever. Which is just weird to think about. But this does pack Surf, so if you think you're just gonna get away with a ghost type that's not how it works even super effective Ooh, thank you thank you for missing and we get away free look at that easy life that that's the whole fight you expect more pretty easy fight i'm pretty sure all of my pokemon were faster so it wasn't really that dangerous and gengar wouldn't have died to two surfs I doubt it, anyway. But we get the Storm Badge, which doesn't make sense because you'd think that would be a Water or... A... You know, what would that be, really? Like, I wouldn't expect a Fighting type. But we get Dynamic Punch, which is cool, question mark. It's not really that big of a deal, but if we talk to her, uh, she'll be like, Oh my god, you defeated my husband slash lovers I don't, I don't fucking know let me give you fly for beating my husband he needs train harder a little chubby <laughs> uh your wife hates you and we're actually in the morning so we get some bright colors for once um switch to melt tank uh yeah that'll be it so, we don't have anything that could fly, and I'm too stubborn. So, we are just gonna cross the ocean very fast, and there's gonna be no issues whatsoever. There's not gonna be that many wild Pokemon. It's gonna be great. It's like nothing is gonna happen, and it's actually going way longer than I thought it would. I'm waiting. Really? Uh, um, what? What? <laughs> I, I, okay, I, what? We don't even need heal. I, I don't know what's going on. What was that about? So we're going to climb the what? The White House. Yeah, this is the White House. What the hell? I'm so confused right now. But we're climbing the lighthouse because we have to talk to Jasmine. Give her the secret potion. I did forget something in Sinewood, but I'll go and do that later. I was going to grab the uh, shuckle and show what you can do with it. But it's something on the side that we'll do later once I get fly. Or someone that could use fly. Because I am in fact lazy. By the way, I've been checking every now and then for a uh, Raikou. Raikou, uh, and an Entei, but haven't gotten it yet, so. Here we are. Here you go. Yes, this will cure. Well, actually, you know what? I can't confirm this. It might just kill him. It could be Cyanide. I don't know. How would Cyanide react to a Pokemon? I don't, I don't know. Okay, first. Medicine is not the end-all be-all. It does not cure you like that, okay? Okay, question. Where are you going? Where are you going? Did you, like, go all the way around? Did you have to break your bones? 
We could have talked to the ant for us and it would have been like way happier than it was. Excuse me. But overall, we're just gonna get out of here and we are gonna be using Kualava finally. Oh man, it's been a while, Kualava. Finally get some use. And I will say this, Jasmine packs uh, kind of a dangerous team at this point if you're not carrying a fire or I guess a water type would be pretty simple. We never got to talk to him. Jasmine uses the newly discovered steel types. Um, Ruby and Sapphire exist. You are a liar. And here we go. Why are you laid out like a rock gym when you think about it? Like, when you have like gears... Um, steel beams, construction, like, uh, Byron. Alright, so we have Jasmine. Start out with, uh, a Magnemite, which, the only thing scary about these Magnemites, besides the fact I don't have a pretty, like, good fire move, is that they do, in fact, carry Thunderbolt, which is gonna be kind of dangerous because of just the high power it is, and plus it comes off with Stab. Even though it's, uh, unevolved. Not fully evolved. Ooh. Um, you know what? Koala got it. I don't think one rock throw will do it. Though it might come close. 35. I love when I feel underleveled and then you get to the other portion of Johto and you're like, what happened to all these levels? Rock throw. Let's see if this does... Oh. Ooh. Well, a crit would have killed me, but guess what? We are Kualava, we will win. Ah, this is way better than Chuck's gym. At least I got hit. Ah, Kualava, you're so close. And then you can get Fire Punch and Thunder Punch, and he'll become the greatest, like, thing in the world? Oh, speaking of uh, close, uh, we are five levels away with Smoochum, which is great as well. We are just so close to getting, like, an amazing amount of power. It may not seem like it, but we just did two gym battles. In, like, under ten minutes, which is mostly due to the fact that we got across the whole entire ocean with one, without one freaking wild battle. And unlike, uh, I, I didn't even talk about Chuck's TM because it's Dynamic Punch. Um, I'm actually going to show you real quick. Dynamic Punch, this is 50% accurate, and it sounds terrible, but later Machamp uses it pretty well. And that's Iron Tail, 75% accurate. Uh, it's the strongest steel move at this point, and also has a chance to raise defense, so. They're alright moves. Uh, they're kind of one of those moves that you put on, uh, Pokemon as, like, coverage, basically. Though, steel in this game is kind of terrible in the offense. Great in defense. Um, well, we're gonna go with Meltank. Meltank is still behind slightly. Just two, so it's not that bad. But, we have stuff to do. We... I didn't expect to finish both these really this fast. This is actually kind of stupid. Okay. I, I don't know why I talked to that guy. Maybe because I was trying to lose some time here. Um, so we're gonna head into Mount Mortar. We have a little bit in there to do. Hey Barry, how's it going? I shouldn't have even picked that up. It's kind of useless. But we have Mount Mortar, which I... I don't even want to talk about the wild Pokemon in there. I will, but not now. We still have a little bit to do. So this guy will be like, Mount Mortar is a maze. And you know what? He is not wrong. An Ultra Ball. That's actually very useful. Anything down here? No, I didn't want... I didn't click... Mm. Alright, Mount Mortar 
it's not that maze like right now but once we get waterfall and we go deeper it becomes a little insane and i want to point this out we have a level 13 zubat would we just fight a level 35 steelix now it's not super annoying it's just really stupid like a level 14 we have dropped over 20 levels it did three damage I, I just there's saying a level cap and I understand it's for Kanto to have higher levels but then in Kanto there's a bunch of areas which you think would have you know higher levels but th there's trainers like Janine who are in the 30s it, it's just it baffles me especially since they go from like in Johto they just jump around uh i did skip a section i'm not losing this time well i didn't fight you before so have you been like being on repeat is this like your hundredth loss a nido king that is level 17 i thank you for giving me a fully evolved pokemon but the level leaves much to be desired well, we have Nido Queen. Um, it's a little more defensive, and I think Melting barely destroyed that Nido King, so I'm gonna just hit it with Smoochum, and we'll Ice Punch it. Super effective, so always win. Bye bye. Plus, I'm just trying to get give some needed experience to Smoochum. And also, I want to point out the next gym is actually slightly lower. I forgot an area over here. And also, I can move the strength boulder, but... Um, the next gym, in fact, ha has lower levels than Jasmine. So... Don't be looking for high levels yet. We're not going to be finding them. Though, after that gym, we do get access to a great HM, which will lead to another team member. Um... Oh, it's just an item. An ether, though. Always useful. Alright, so... Uh, let's see. I guess we'll end things off here. Um, So... I'm actually walled by this. Next time, I'll explain what type of Pokemon can be found here. Uh, obviously, there's a new one because you saw Machop. Even though I've gone over Machop because of a trade. I don't know why it's so hard for me to switch Pokemon right now. But there's a... I think there's another Pokemon in here. I, I'll remember. Actually, there might... Is Meryl here? Will Confusion kill you? Out of interest. I mean, Smoochum is still strong in the specials. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so next time we'll be uh, talking about what Pokemon's in here. And we'll be moving through it. So, till then.